Hello guys, Vanessa Montilla for Burgess Institute. Today we're going to talk about the use of the masculine article with feminine nouns in Spanish. Let's do it. Okay, how would you translate the water is cold? It would be el agua está fría. Do you see the problem? Why is it el and fría? If it is el, shouldn't it be frío? If it is fría, shouldn't it be la? The explanation is quite simple. In Spanish, feminine nouns that start with a stressed A must be preceded by the masculine definite article el instead of the feminine one, la. Where does this come from? It is actually quite interesting. In old Spanish, the feminine article was ella. What happens when you place ella before a noun that starts with a consonant? Let's see some examples. En la casa, en la mesa. The e tends to disappear. People would tend to pronounce it like this. La casa, la mesa. However, when you place ella before a noun that starts with a stressed a or ha, like in el agua, el alma, el hacha, the a in ella tends to disappear as it merges with the a of the noun. El agua, el alma, el hacha. Yeah, this is where it comes from. So we can say that we are really using a modified version of the old Spanish feminine definite article and not the actual masculine definite article. It just happens to be the same thing. Interesting, isn't it? Here is a list of feminine nouns that start with a stressed A. Águila, alma, aula, agua, área. Arma, hacha, hada, hambre. Just remember, if you use an adjective with any of these nouns, it should obviously be feminine. Let's see some examples. El águila calva, el arma blanca. That was all for today, guys. If you want to take classes with us, check the link in the description. I will be here next week with more lessons. Mm -hmm.